um, very important that started my career. Yeah. Yeah, he gave me and got me my first job, uh, amazingly. But there's a downside, but that comes later. <laughs> <laughs> but he did, and I, I wrote a memoir last year in which I credited him with. Yeah. Uh, he, he was very good at spotting young talent. People mm. like Vincent O'Toole, Gene Kerrigan. Cassie Stokes. Yeah, Cassie Stokes. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I mean, he, he had an eye for talent. Yeah. Um, but maybe not the tolerance uh, right. that <laughs> other people might have. Has That's why we both don't talk to him anymore. Yeah. 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 Now, Eamon Dunphy has a very distinctive voice, and Cassie, <laughs> you've, got, you've got the twang, because of course you grew up in Canada, yeah, then yeah, Ireland, then you moved back to Thanks. Canada. Yeah, I know. And you were in the media over there, and I you was. were... Did you have to change your voice? I, I did, I had to change my... I was a voiceover artist over there, so wow. they didn't want you to be... Not that they didn't want you, but I I couldn't be Irish when I was doing voiceovers because I was doing voiceovers for American Express and Ford, mm -hmm. so which are very American and Canadian yeah, yeah, companies, yeah. so I would have to sit there and put on my best Canadian accent. Which I had to go to classes. So, okay, so American Express would be... Um, American Express realized the potential. Okay, and it's funny to hear that. If American Express is watching, they I don't think they knew that an Irish person was doing their, was their female voiceover artist for about two years. Which can you, was. Can you do an Eamon Dunphy? American Express. 